A fade is basically an increase or a decrease in the audio level of a signal. In Pro Tools, the quickest way of creating fades is with the Smart Tool. Let me show you that now. I have a little spoken word piece here. Hello, this is Scott Fryman talking to you in Pro Tools. If I want to fade that in, I can choose my Smart Tool. Again, press any two of F5, F6, and F7. And then remember the selector tool is in the middle, grabber at the bottom, trim at the left and right. If I go to the top left-hand corner, I can fade in. You see it changes to a square with a line through it. I can drag however long I want the fade to be. Let's make it about there. Now let's listen to our file. Hello, this is Scott Fryman talking to you in Pro Let's make it even more drastic. Notice now when I use my smart tool, the trimmer shows up right here. If I drag here, I drag out the beginning of the fade. If I drag here, I elongate the fade. Okay, let's try that now. Hello, this is Scott Fryman talking to you. Hello, this is Scott Fryman talking to you. And as you would expect, I can do a fade out by using the top right hand corner. Hello, this is Scott Fryman talking to you in Pro Tools. Let me drag that fade all the way out here. Hello, this is Scott Fryman talking to you in Pro Tools. Now there are lots of different types of fades that you can create. It doesn't have to be a straight line like this. A lot of times you wanna ramp up the fade or ramp down the fade. We'll talk about that a little later. I do wanna show you though that you can actually move this fade by using the grabber tool. I can drag it and you can see the fade drags to the left of where it was before. If I take this one, let me shrink it up a little bit and drag it all the way over here, look what happens. The fade remains the same size, but the region is shortened.